much. Hi everyone, so we're talking about our intended audiences for our novels today. Um, and I'm going to be honest, when I started this program, um, I started it to write one book. I had one book that I needed to write as a mother. Um, I didn't think beyond that. I didn't care about beyond that. I just need to get this one book out. And But somewhere along the line in the program, I found this love for writing and now I have post-it notes everywhere of other novel ideas that I want to um, try out. So, But I am writing this book and my intended audience, honestly, is my son. Um, I know that a lot of you already know this, so you might want to zip ahead in the video. But um, my son sustained a head injury um, four years ago over four years ago now and it took him a lot of time they called it they called it post concussion syndrome um where he just he wasn't healing and it took years and he spent two years of that in bed in the dark and um I just I had to write about it because what happened was a lot of people didn't believe us um didn't believe what he was going through medical doctors did um medical doctors understood it they didn't know how to cure it they didn't know what to do but they understood that it was a real phenomenon and you know he lost friends we lost friends and um going to physical whew, um, going to physical therapy and all the doctor's appointments and all this stuff um, introduced me to other people whose children were going through the same exact thing. And the problem is, is that people don't understand it. Now, concussions have been kind of in the news lately um, because of Will Smith's movie, Concussion, concussion and all of this um, research for NFL and girls soccer, especially. Um, but it's not really... Not, people don't really know or understand about it in schools. School administrators don't know about how bad a concussion can be and how um, far-reaching the symptoms are. And so that is what my book is. And I couldn't find, when I went through Amazon, I couldn't find a young adult novel um, based on someone with post-concussion syndrome. So it was born from that. And also um, a lot of the things that go along with post-concussion syndrome, which is also eating disorders, um, headaches, personality changes things like that so my book is based is based on my son but it's not my son it's actually a girl it's someone else so um my point for my book is not to become like a bestseller not to become jot and green but to help other families to help other kids out there that are going through this post-concussion syndrome thing or anorexia or any of these things that um my son had gone through because of his head injury and um those are the people I want to reach. So I'll worry about bestsellers later. I just want to help these people now. And um, so that is my audience. And it's a very small audience, I know. And it's very, um, but I think it can help people um, to know that they aren't alone. Because for the longest time, he felt alone. And that's not okay. So, yeah. Emotional. But, um... Other than that, I think the people that would read books like John Green would enjoy this book. I think it's the same sort of story, um, which I think is also the young adult market is saturated, but I don't care about that. I don't care that it's oversaturated because I just have to get this story out. So that's where I am. My target audience is my son. So, um, Let's see, teens, probably 14 to 18, um, probably love soccer because my character was in a soccer accident and that's how she got her concussion. Um, possibly kids with eating disorders. Um, there's also bullying in the book. So I think that teens that are dealing with real life situations um, that are hard and that a lot of people don't understand. Um, would be the ones that would gravitate towards my book. Also, um, mothers of these children, because it helps people. You know, you don't want to feel alone. So, oh, I'm emotional. Oh my gosh. Okay. Bye.